pause that for one second. What do you think about the the left's in, indoctrinating children? Oh my goodness! It's listen. This is what happened in Nazi Germany. Yeah. This is what happened in Russia. And then you, uh, you and the, the your seven year old granddaughter, you're writing all the songs that are all about Joe, how Joe Biden's bad and Trump or. Well, we we've got other songs, but the ones that are, you know, that we put on here, are definitely. Our pro country. I mean, you really just can't beat this transition here. How on earth does this guy not know that he is broadcasting his utter hypocrisy for the world to see? And granted, the song his daughter wrote is pretty tame, but this type of politicization of children could have really damaging consequences down the line. This is probably the next stage of that indoctrination. Why are you a Trump supporter? Because I've realized that he's the only person that actually did something in this world, and he helps um, us a lot. Yeah. And you probably have good parents. What about you, Liberty? Coolest name. Shout out to your dad back there. I love that. Yeah. So, um, I was, I, uh, oh my goodness, I'm. It's okay. Take your time. Um, I respect Donald Trump because he's probably the best president I've ever actually seen and also he's actually helped he i actually got to see my family now i can't because all the gas prices i can't even go and see my family that are far away now yeah. kids pushed in front of a camera hollow-eyed repeating whatever vague platitudes their parents have forced on them and then there's this guy what they say about donald trump they say that he's mean and everything well you know what when you're growing up it was your father who kicked you your mother who kicked you in <laughs> to keep you on a straight and hour, and that's what he does. Right. I, I want a leader. I don't want a lamb. That's right. A leader, a leader, not a lamb. We're in a world where one complete side of the political spectrum wants aggression, nastiness, and hate from their leaders. And through these videos, we can see a clear through line of how these ideologies spread like wildfire from kids to preteens to hate-mongering adults who once weaponized their own children. And I want to be clear, this happens on both sides. Democrats also imbue their children with their political beliefs. And even if it's unintentional, it is a universal fact about family life. Your children will absorb the political messages you espouse, for good or bad. Children are very impressionable, and sharing your beliefs with them or even around them is one thing. But lying and bigotry is another. If you didn't know, there have been quite a few MAGA children's books hitting the shelves these days. They're already indoctrinating kids into ideas that Trump is a martyr-like king the only one who cares about the truth. And these authors aren't just random writers, they have direct lines to Trump himself, like Kash Patel, who is Trump's number one media stooge these days, who recently published a kid's book called The Plot Against the King. You can guess who the king is. And again, this does happen on the left as well, like Michael Ian Black, a child first book of Trump. But the difference is that he's not directly tied to the levers of power like Kash Patel is. As I said, children are so impressionable and they can easily be groomed into attitudes of hatred and bigotry. And it's important to know that it's not ultimately their fault. An important example of this occurred at Fred Rogers' funeral. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood was a show about acceptance, love, kindness, generosity, and fairness. And in a chilling testimony from his funeral, it was met with protests from people as young as eight years old holding signs about their hatred of homosexuality. They were led by Westboro Baptist leader Fred Phelps, who preached to these kids that Mr. Rogers' death was a welcome move by God. The New Yorker reported that bringing children to these types of protests was a strategy by Phelps for media attention. They brought children to the protests and had them hold placards and repeat slogans, slurring gay people and praising divine killings. Many of them were Phelps's own children or grandchildren. So we can look at videos like this of children at these political protests and laugh or cringe, but there is a danger underlying all of it when it goes to Far. Children are impressionable, but they also have agency that adults need to respect. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917.